internet kill switch. All right. They're going to shut down uh, all access to the internet. They're going to shut down cell phones. All right. All electronics are going to be shut down where you ain't going to be able to communicate. And then what? You know, that's where you're going to solely depend on the things that you obtain, man. But we have to let each other know the uh, the words of faith and of good doctrine whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and old wise fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. Okay? Because part of the old wise fables is that this thing is going to continue as it has always been. Alright? That their, 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 their vain thoughts and imaginations is going to be fulfilled. They're going to fulfill the RFID chip. All right, they're going to uh, uh, usher in martial, or not martial law, but they're going to usher in a new world government, a one world government, all right, with one one currency, one religion, one world religion, all right, one, you know, uh, you know, things of that nature, man, which is the, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. It says, but refuse profane and all wise fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. And how do you exercise yourself unto godliness? By taking heed unto the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, this book, man. By listening to the Akim on the on, on the internet. By reading and studying, studying your, for your own self, man. All right. But it says in verse eight, but God, but bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and that of which is to come, because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to put a hedge. As I read earlier in uh in the book of Ephesians, that he's gonna seal you up with the the promise of the Holy Spirit, man. He's gonna seal you. He's gonna put a seal on you, man, where nothing can touch you, nothing can break you from the from the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, "This is a faithful saying and worthy of all uh, acceptation, Ex acceptation. I believe I'm saying it right, or exception. All right, it's exception. Salakia. It says, "This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception. You know." So you need to accept these words, man. If the Lord dealing with you, you're gonna accept the words that are coming from what from 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 among men, because you have to be guided by men, man. Men have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, enabling us to, to push this word, man. All right. It says, um, Colin, that's it on there. But let me go back to. It on Isaiah. All right, so yeah, man, we have to, uh, you know, be mindful of these things, man. Let me go ahead and jump down to First uh, Timothy four and eleven. Uh, well, you know what? Let me keep reading down First Timothy four and ten. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power. Who is the savior of all men, especially of those that believe, especially of those that believe, man. All right, because all Israel is going to be saved, but they're going to come back in the kingdom. But especially those that believe, all right, the ones that believe are going to be the ones that uh, put on the whole, the whole, uh, the whole armor of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the garment, man. Are right, the beautiful garments talking about the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the word, the spirit? Okay, it says that's who the, he's going to come back and save, man, the elect. All right, the chosen man of the nation of Israel, the 12,000 out of each tribe and a great multitude that followed behind them, man, out of every nation, the Israelites. It says, these things command and teach, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, and in faith, and in purity. So we had to be examples of... Uh, uh, be thou an example of the believers in word, man. All right, in action, in deed. Okay. Uh, uh, showing them how to do it the right way. All right, being examples. All right. It says uh, real quick. Let me bring out this other one. This is First uh, John chapter three, uh, verse eighteen. Uh, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. You see? So we have to love in, in deed and in deed and in truth. Coming out of the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And exercise godliness. To be an example to the believers on how to uh, govern and, and conduct themselves in a society that is, is that promotes violence. Alright? Homosexuality. Everything that's contrary to the uh, 
Yahweh Shemi Awashai. Even, even, even the society promotes that you can't be angry, man. But the scriptures say, be angry and sin not, man. You know? It's crazy, man. It says, uh, going back to uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, uh, verse 12. Uh, be thou an example to the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. To like come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. You see? So we're supposed to do all these things all at not at, all at once, but exercise them, man. You gotta exercise all that stuff, man. Uh, this is uh, Sirach chapter thirty-nine, verse one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. So we're gonna be occupied in prophecy before the evil days come, man. And Lord will, He's gonna sustain us in the time of those perilous days, man. Okay, when the when the word the, the famine of the word comes, we're already gonna have Yahweh Bashem Lord willing. He's gonna keep allow us to retain it in the mind to guide us in the ways of darkness and the and guide us in the ways of the wilderness, man. In the shadow of darkness, uh, you know, in the valley of shadow of death, man, which is America, man. All right. It says, uh, Sirach thirty nine and two. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and where subtle parables are, he will there he will be there also. See. So it, it's, it's vital and important that you, can, you, you take heed to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and listen to the things that are being told to you, man. Because this is the only thing that's going to be able to be, uh, deliver your soul, man. The, the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. Nothing else can save you, man. Not your 401k, all right? Not your retirement plan, all right? Uh, uh, not, your, not your artillery. You know, a lot of, lot of uh, 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 individuals store up guns and, and, and uh, weaponry and things of that nature, but that ain't going to deliver you, man. Okay? It says, He will seek out the secrets of the grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. All right? Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, he deals, he deals with wisdom, man. And wisdom is not an easy thing to attain. Uh, 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 Solomon even confessed that, that, that wisdom... That was part of wisdom that he had to understand that that she was a gift and not easily attained, man. You know? It says, He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries, for he has tried the good and the evil among men. Because that's all there is, man. We have to be able to exercise those abilities through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see? By taking heed and, and, and exercising godliness, man. By hearing. The hearing of the word. Come, uh, faith cometh by the hearing of the word. And hearing, uh, hearing of the word, man. Salaki. You know? It says, uh, For he had tried the good and the evil among men. Alright? Real quick. Let me go right here to the book of Malachi. Because these people don't have that, that ability, man. Alright? Because they don't exercise in godliness. They ain't paying attention. They ain't examining. All right? They ain't analyzing, breaking down things through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? This is Malachi chapter 3, uh, verse 16. Then they that feared Yahweh spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Okay? So you... Meditating, that's part of meditating and being preoccupied in, uh, in the prophecies as I read in Sirach 39, 1. His mind to the law of the Most High and occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Okay? Going back to uh, Malachi 3 and 16. Uh, uh, Salachi 17. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in the day when I will make up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Why is he going to spare us? Because the elect were, for, first and foremost, they were predestined from the foundation of the earth to receive salvation. But because they rehearsed and they went through the motions of showing themselves approved unto the Most High, putting on as the elect, whoever those men are. They're going to be doing what you see me doing right now in the video, man. What you see the elders doing, Great Millstone, uh, Elder Tahar Gabar, you know, in plus years, man, 30 plus years, man. You know, that's some heavy dedication, man. You know, you cannot say that the Lord ain't dealing with them. 
Because to go that long, the Lord has to be dealing. There's something that has to be on their spirit for them to be going out and doing the work. Uh, you know, uh, 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 what does the, the scripture say? Uh, zealously, man. You know, uh, fervently, being on fire hot. No matter what the, uh, the situation they may be going through, they're still being persistent, man. That's what the Most High desires, man. He desires a, a, a soul that is after the Lord's own heart, man. As King David was. You got to be mindful of those things, man. You know, uh, Malachi 3 and 18. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Yahweh and him that serveth him not. You know, and that's the whole part of, of us going through the things that we do and the truth. Because the Most High is prepping us and getting us ready for the days to come, the evil day, the 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 the, 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 uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, man, which is the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. Ultimately, they're gonna come try to uh, deal with us, man. Uh, the Most High is chosen. Then shall you know who the Most High is chosen is, when they say, they shall shall go out as mad men sparing none. They're gonna try to come after us, man. That's who they're really hungry for. You know. So it's, it's important that you take heed to the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and take heed to, to, to the teachers, man, that are teaching. Such as uh, uh, under Great Millstone, man, GMS. All the other camps, they ain't got the truth, man. Talking about mermaids being in the damn ocean. Ain't no no mermaids in there, man. That's all mythology, Roman and Greek mythology, man. You got, you got a lot of uh, bug outs, man. Uh, this is Hebrews uh, chapter 4. It's like Hebrews 5 and 12. For when the for when when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh, and are become such as have need of milk and not a strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of a full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil you know so these people's minds are not being exercised man because the lord says uh, uh for many are called few are chosen for i have chosen you and you have not chosen me so that right there the lord is already dealing with us man we're blessed in the eyes of yahweh and we're blessed in the eyes of the akio man that we're able to come out here and teach man all right but we have to have that ability. And the only way you're going to have that ability is being preoccupied in the scriptures, man. All right? And putting, on, putting off the old man, you know? Uh, 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 separate yourself from this wicked world, this kingdom. You know? Uh, going back to uh, Surah 39 and 4. For he had tried the good and the evil among men. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord that made him. And will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth and prayer and make supplication for his sins and that's what the men of the lord are doing on a daily basis man you know because why it says uh he will resort early to the lord that made him because he knows that he, he needs salvation man he knows he needs mercy he knows he needs help all right because yahweh Shai is the only one on the earth that knows how to su a sucker a man man because he went through the same lusts and temptations as we have man the negro latinos and native american indians we are the he true Hebrew Israelites, man. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, your power is coming back to deliver you, man. All right? It says, When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. And that's what we're doing, man. These other people are giving thanks to, to a, a Baal, Mo Molech, all these different spiritual entities. Like I made a video about this uh, new uh, 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 t TV series that came is coming out on the uh, uh, channel Stars. They call it Stars, uh, called American Gods, man. And then that within that episode, those, the, the, I think it's on the second episode. All right, um, I think today it comes out the, the new episode, the third episode. But it's talking about how uh, America is basically a melting pot full of all these different deities and gods, man. You know. Well, all the different nations that are coming and bringing their own philosophies and doctrines and things of this nature and it's, it's all here in America man but in that show they're trying to revive themselves alright they're trying to revive themselves to, to go against each other man you know but the only one that's going to reign supreme and this, on this side in reality is Yahweh Yahweh Shai man 
That's who we give thanks to and praise and honor and glory to. Now, not, 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 this, uh, not this land, not this uh, Statue of Liberty, not the Declaration of, 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 of uh, you know, the, the Constitutional Rights and the Declaration of Independence, all this stuff. All that stuff was to, here to destroy us, man, except for the Constitutional Rights. That was, we're, that was made for us to come out here and do what we're doing right now. All right. Uh, going back to Sirach 39 and, and 7. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he meditate. You know, that's what we're doing, man. We're uh, studying, to show that, so studying to show ourselves approved unto the Most High. We're reading out of the book. All right. Uh, you shall not want her, your mate, her mate. You know, and we're studying. Uh, read, read out of the. Uh, how does it go? Salakia. I don't want to be messing it up, man. This is uh, Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, and none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. You see. So how do we gather up the elect, man? It's by preaching. All right, that's what Yahweh told the apostle that we're going to be fishers of men, okay? And but that's what we do. We have, we 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 stay within the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in, 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 in alignment, man. And if we're going off, veering left or right, we have to get ourselves back in alignment with the, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh because Yahweh is a, is a, is a, a perfect spirit, man. And we know that uh, an unjust balance is an abomination. So we have to make sure that we're in alignment with the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by being uh, 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 preoccupied in the scriptures, man. As it said in the book of Sirach, chapter 39, uh, verse 7, He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he meditate. He shall show forth that which he had learned, and shall glory in the law of the covenant of Yahweh. And that's what we do. You learn this truth and you go out and preach it. You distribute it. Distribute the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah amongst to, amongst the people, to wherever it shall go, it, sh it shall not return unto him void, man. All right. Got another one. This is Isaiah chapter fifty-five um, and eleven. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it see so this word is going to accomplish be it's going to be fulfilled and accomplished to wherever it may go man all right so once you get this you learn it you have to go onto the highways and the byways as it was commanded that we go out there and preach you know because it's a time's coming where we're not going to be able to do that no more man all right right now it's it, it's it, it's a uh the Lord has the spirit, the door of mercy open to where we, we are able to do that. All right. This is uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 1. I charge thee before, therefore before Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. You see? And that's what the day we're approaching right now, man. The Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, you're not going to uh, 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 endure sound doctrine, man. But instead, you're going to continue to believe in a lie. Right? Because the Lord put the spirit of a, a strong delusion upon you for you to, to fall into that category, man. All right? Because we're not worried about the heathen, man. All right? The God we're young. We're worried about the elect. Of the nation of Israel, all right, because Israel in the whole, in a nutshell, is the elect. But we're looking for the elect with the India elect, man. Okay. It says, Second uh, Timothy's four and two: Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching, itching ears, man. Because this doctrine is no longer sound good to them, man. That's what's happened to the nation of Israel, Yasha Allah, the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. That's why they follow after all these other deities. All right, that white image, Jesus Christ, Cesar Borgia, or the now they're, 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 they become Muslims, uh, worshiping the, uh, the black stone of Mecca. All right, because the Lord already said that that was going to happen, man. 
that we're gonna uh, uh, be led into a land that we have not been or seen or a speech that we have not understood roughly paraphrasing it and there we're gonna worship wood and stone you know but even though it's already it's been happening from from the uh, learn uh, Israel learning the different uh, 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 doctrines and philosophies of the other of the Babylonians the Philistines all right the Assyrians the Greeks the Persians you know but it's, it's it was a future prophecy that was gonna come over here on this side man talking about the uh, Muslims because the Negro Latinos the Native American Indians we ain't no Africans man the Negroes are not African the word Africa that land was originally called Ham or Canaan the only the only way they got that word African is by the Roman uh, 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 a Roman soldier named uh, a Superior or Scipio Africanus man was a Roman uh, 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 soldier well he was like a captain all right the Negroes today in America are Hebrew Israelites man okay it says uh, going back to 2 Timothy 4 and 4 and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables so that's why you got a lot of the, uh, our people the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians worshiping uh, Santa Maria Santa Guadalupe which is the Queen of Heaven which is Semiramis all right uh, 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 you got a uh, different uh, uh, female deities talking about like Nanan or Nana you got a uh, 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 Asareth, all right. You got a uh, um, Aphrodite. Those are all uh, uh, the Queen of Heaven. It's all the same deity, man. It just has different names. You see. And you got a uh, uh, the uh, the Latin tribes, uh, the so-called uh, Latin tribe, which is like from Ephraim down to the so-called Mexicans. They be bowing down to that white image Jesus, man. When that same white image Jesus put you into slavery. All right. The Bible don't depict. Uh, the savior is being so-called white man, man. All right, the Bible cuts that image up and down, man. The the, the Lord is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, man. All right. It says, Second uh, Timothy four and five, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. So we got to do all those things, man. We have to be preoccupied in this word, man. We have to uh, live it, man. All right? We have to put on the whole armor, the whole spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. This ain't no part-time thing. This ain't no uh, in front of the camera thing. All right? This is this is a real thing, man. This is real life. You know? This is all through spirit. This is all through prophecy. Matter of fact, let me finish what I was reading in 2 Timothy. The same, the same book, but while I was reading on verse 3. All right? Or uh, uh, 2 Timothy 2. First Timothy 4 and 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. You see, this ain't no coincidence, man. This is all to this work in the spirit of power, Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You see? But these people they think it's just something that uh one day I just decided to uh put on uh the, the, the Christian you know facade and come out here and try to act like I'm holy and a holy roller and Every now and then I want to talk about the, the Bible and the book because that's how a lot of people are in the world, man. They're all wicked, but then when you start talking about the Bible, they want to put on that little facade that they're holy. All right? And people ain't holy because the word holy goes back to the word to separate, man. And a lot of you people are still uh, 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 are entwined in, in the matrix, man, which is in this world, man. You ain't put off the old man. You ain't put off that, that evil nature. You're still feeding that evil, proud nature. You ain't humbling yourself in the spirit and power, Yah Bashim Yahweh Shah. Still smoking cigarettes, still eating pork. Alright? Still doing all sorts of uh, abominations in the side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You gotta put all that away, man. You gotta follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because this is no coincidence, man, that this is happening, man. This ain't no game. This ain't no fable that was just made up. This is an actual spirit working for us to come out here and do this work, man. Before the evil days come. Before the famine of the word comes, man. You got to eat everything. You got to eat it quick, man. Just like at the Passover, uh, the Lord commanded them that they, they eat in haste. With their shoes on, their clothes on, their belt buckles, their, everything buckled up. And they had to eat that food in haste, man. That's how you got to take this role. You got to eat it quick, man. All right? There's no time to be sitting down and debating amongst, amongst yourself whether or not this is the truth or not, man. 
You either, you either believe it or you don't, man. All right? It says, 1 Timothy 4 and uh, 14, with the laying on the hands of the presbytery, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy property may be appear be to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both say thyself and them that hear thee. You know? So we, that's the whole point of us even coming into the... Uh, the, uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Alright, it's because you want to be delivered, man Alright But you had to come to the light Where you're going to be reproved Of that darkness that you've committed, man But that's the whole A lot of people don't like coming to the light Because that reprovement That reproof That reproof Is too harsh, man Because it consists of them having a change has It consists of them actually having a, 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 a Tap into something they don't want to uh, go into, man Going deep into their spirit, their mind where they try to block away all childhood things that happened to them in their childhood, you know, and these demons that are taking hold of, of, of their, uh, their their emotions and their feelings and things of that nature. That's why we need Yahweh Shai, man. We need deliverance because we need deliverance out of this chains of darkness, man. We need to de deliverance because no matter how hard we fight back, the flesh comes back harder too. It's a constant battle, man. But in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, as long as we're doing what we're supposed to do, the Lord delights in that, man. That's having faith. That's how you please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You see? Um, see. That's it on there. That's it there. Going back to uh, uh, Sirach 39 and uh, 9. Many shall commend his understanding. And so long as the world endureth, it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not be depart away, and his name shall live from generation to generation. See, because that 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 honor that he achieved through through, through pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna continue on. Just like you got the different apostles, man, or the different prophets. You know? You got Samuel, you got Isaiah, you got all these different prophets, Ezra's and and, and, and uh King David and and uh, you know, all these different prophets, Yahweh Shai being the main prophet, that's how because they 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 uh attained a good name in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. By doing the work, presenting their bodies a living sacrifice. Alright? Meditating upon prophecy, man. Alright. It says Thank you for what you're doing. It says, Nations shall show forth his wisdom, all right, and the congregation shall declare his praise. Okay? So it says the nation shall show forth his wisdom. And the congregation shall declare his praise, man. You know? If he die, he shall leave a greater name than a thousand. And if he live, he shall increase it. Yet have I more to say, which I have thought upon. For I am filled as the moon at the full. Hearken unto me, ye holy children. And bud forth as a rose growing by the brook of the field. See, and that's what we want to do, man. We want to be able to... Uh, Sprout out from the valley of dry bones, man. But that's only gonna we're only gonna obtain life is through Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's word, man. That's it. Going right here to John. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, that's the only way we're gonna be able to bud, man. We're, that's the only way we're gonna be able to blossom. You see. This is a uh, over here to Isaiah chapter 27 and start at verse uh, This is uh, Isaiah 27 and 3 I the Lord do keep it I will water it every moment you see so it's like Paul there is a a, a, a little a contention between the uh, the Corinthians about who who followed who, well, whether they followed Apollos or whether they followed uh, a Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, or they followed uh, uh, Paul. But Paul broke it down to him saying that you know Apollos uh, water or Apollos watereth and Paul planted or Paul vice versa. But Yahweh Shai gave the increase, man. So it, we had to depend on the Lord, as it says in Isaiah 27 and 3. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt, hurt it, 
I will keep it night and day. You see? I'm going to jump down to verse 6. He shall cause them that come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom and bud and fill the face of the world with fruit. You see? So that's, that's you better take that fruit while you can still find it, man. Because sooner or later, these trees are going to uproot themselves and go to a whole different area, man. You know? Because right now, we're shaking the dust off our feet from this wicked kingdom, man. And this is spiritually be done, being done throughout the four corners of the earth. It's not just happening in the town. This is a, 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 a wide effect that's going to affect all y'all people, man. You know? Just because it, I'm like one man here in San Angelo, that doesn't mean that oh, the, 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 the Spirit of the Lord is power, man. All right? Y'all watching me on the side. It's powerful. The Lord can do many things with one, with one man. Look at, uh, the, there's different examples. Look at Yahweh Shai. He was by himself. I mean, he had the 12. <coughs> he had the 70. He had a great multitude that followed him and that believed in him. But he did uh, many great things with being by himself, man. Alone. Elijah, too. You know? All these different prophets were by themselves and they did many great things, man. They stood up against, uh, 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 like they said in Jeremiah 28 and 8, that uh, the prophets that have been before me had prophesied both against many countries, right? Uh, uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8 The prophets that have been before me And before thee of old Prophesy both against many countries And against great kingdoms of war Of evil and of pestilence You see So the Lord don't need a lot of people Or many people to prove a point Alright Because his word is powerful man Alright As it said in Isaiah 27 and, and 6 Israel shall blossom and bud And fill the, the face of the world with fruit And we're filling the world with fruit right now man we're waking up Yasha Allah from the Valley of Dry Bones, which is here in, the, in our captivity, man. America, Europe, the whole the whole earth is the Valley of Dry Bones, man. But primarily here in America, because the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, we lost our heritage, our identity, man. Because it was stripped away from us, man. All right. But going back to Sirach, chapter thirty-nine and thirteen, hearken unto me, you holy children, and bud forth as a rose growing by the brook of the field. And who's that river that we need to uh, uh, plant ourselves next to? Which is Yahweh Shai, man. Because Yahweh Shai said, he is, the, he is the way, the life, and the truth. And out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. All right? Uh, real quick. Let's see. Real quick, let me go to Psalms. This is the one of the main ones that I know. Uh, this is Psalms. 1 and 3 and he shall be I'll start at verse 1 Psalms 1 and 1 blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly right talking about the ungodly is what the, the ungodly they dwell in the land of deserts man uh, 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 in, in the uh, in the in the in, in a play a place where there is no way as it says in uh wisdom of Solomon let me go ahead and bring that out because we're not walking in the counsel of ungodly men man we're walking in the counsel of Yahweh Yahushai, which is life where is the water man all right uh, let me see. Is it Wisdom of Solomon? 